Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for July 2 through to July 5. A powerful coronal hole formation has just rotated into the earth facing position as well as solar wind speeds increasing to 720 km a second and a significant planetary alignment all indicate a potential of a 7.5 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at an animated view of the coronal hole formations on the solar corona using the solar terrestrial activity report where we see an extremely large region on the sun. Now this is a recurring coronal hole CH521 and it's done a full rotation of the sun and it's back again for its second run. Now we're already receiving significant high speed solar wind streams exiting this coronal hole and that's an indication of some strong earthquake potential coming from this coronal hole during this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see strong changes have been registered over the last 24 hours. Solar wind speeds have moved from 400 to 720 km a second and this is due to the high speed solar wind stream exiting this very large coronal hole formation buffeting the Earth's magnetic field. Now this should last for another 24 to 36 hours due to the size of this coronal hole formation and once it rotates away from the Earth facing position we should see a strong drop in solar winds and this may leave a green light for some significant earthquake potential felt here on Earth. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map and from these images we see the influences of this very large coronal hole formation with regards to the Earth. Now the Earth being this black dot running across the middle of the screen and we do see this large coronal hole formation will have its influences wane from July 3rd onwards and that should mean that solar wind speeds would also decrease quite drastically around that time frame. So this I feel would be a green light to some strong earthquake potential July 3, 4 and 5. We're now looking at solar monitors long wave and short wave solar images of this very large coronal hole formation and all of these images we see very striking feature. Now this very large coronal hole formation I feel will produce one or two significant earthquakes during this watch. I have isolated two regions from this very large coronal hole formation which I feel may produce significant earthquakes. The first of them, July 2 and 3, I feel there may be a 6 magnitude earthquake between 5 to 9 degrees north latitude. But the main focus for this watch is this very large region in the rear flank of this coronal hole and that's situated at 16 to 21 degrees north latitude and I feel may produce a 7.2 to 7.5 magnitude earthquake. I'm now going to plot a map of region I feel would be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best map to the earth and my number one area of concern is for the Mariana Islands region. Central America will be my second area of concern more specifically the region of Mexico. And my final area of concern for this possible 7.5 magnitude earthquake are for the regions just south of Taiwan and they are the Babayuan Islands or Luzon Philippines. Also in this latitude zone of 16 to 21 degrees north latitude is the island of Hawaii and this may be an indication of strong volcanic activity for Mount Kilauea during this watch. The leading edge of this coronal hole formation may produce a significant earthquake felt here on Earth for July 2 and 3. I'll now plot and map some regions that may be affected. I'm now going to plot and map the leading edge of this coronal hole formation for the dates of July 2 and 3. And my number one area of concern is for Central America, more specifically Panama, Costa Rica and Northern Colombia. And my second and final area of concern is for the region of Philippines, more specifically the areas of Mindanao and the Mora Gulf region, Philippines. Now it's also worth noting that we do have a significant planetary alignment on July 3rd between Jupiter, Venus and the Earth. And I will leave a link in the description box and as a video response to a video I made late last year regarding this alignment. We are seeing an increase in solar activity due to active region 11513 yielding 4 M class events the last 48 hours. The most recent fade out was an M1.6 class event and it was centered over Central America. Now looking at the southern hemisphere and a small coronal depression has formed which may be an indication of a 5 magnitude earthquake for 41 to 44 degrees south latitude for the dates of July 3 to July 4 and this may be an indication of an earthquake for the Christchurch or the Cook Strait regions New Zealand. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch. For more information please visit my website at solarwatcher.net where I'll be providing more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.